Welcome to the Teamwork Monster Hunter Podcast Show. It's episode 106 for the 1st of June, 2030. You will give me an egg. Hi everybody, welcome to the Teamwork Monster Podcast. I am Christian from TeamworkCast.com, a beautiful website about Monster Hunter, and this is a podcast about Monster Hunter as well. And we are Monster Hunters, and we are about to embark on a journey. With me together is Shepard here, right in front of this shop. I'm trying to take this pickaxe. What's your problem? Won't you sell it to me? Give it to me. This woman is not impressed by your prowess. Rip off. You mean... You mean you mean, I, I, if I saw, I mean, it's not, a, I don't know, it's kind of like a tricky business proposition to sell wep- weapons to people who are so heavily armed. I mean, we are able to take down dinosaurs. Where is their security, you know? I'm giving her a negative review on eBay. Yeah, definitely, I hope definitely. Her store goes under. Thumbs uh, down. One person, F-. one person definitely didn't, the one person definitely not, not impressed, but with very, very great reviews uh, on, uh, on everywhere is Nexella. I'm not impressed by your strength. I wouldn't sell you my pickaxes. You probably you can you, you create pickaxes. You can make pickaxes. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Combine them with bones. And or yeah. ta-da. It's uh, so there is no special thing about your pickaxes, Nexella. Come on, give us give us you They're you you know how to make. One hundred percent made in America. You can probably. I'm pretty sure your pickaxe is more powerful than uh, than a hammer. If I created one, what? the only thing made in America about you, Noxella, is your bad attitude and terrible <laughs> gas mileage, Ford. Whoa, my gas is 100 percent natural. Definitely, oh. definitely. And down at the bottom left of the screen, we have Hulu, who is not a butterfly today. No, but I do want these apples over in the kitchen because i want pie you're like throwing things yeah Stop that. i want to throw the you apples pay for each one of those i want to make more pies more pies i'm not gonna get any pies i'm sad not with that pies attitude. are pies are pies are tasty so today we are going to fight some g-rank monsters we are going to try to get me on the next level of g-rank so people can see other games monsters i don't know it's complicated we're going to fight monsters that's what i understand you understand wrong. Do you understand it's, the Xbox One? I know. Do you understand the Xbox One? <laughs> I, I honestly do not understand the Xbox One. What is going I on pro- with that thing again? Uh, Guys, I got I, it. I don't you, think you can Microsoft watch... knows what's going on with the Xbox One. So does it play you games? You can watch TV. Is it, it, it plays I, is it for games? Call of Duty and yeah. Madden and all these EA games. But but oh. you, you got to remember though, this isn't going to be Call of Duty. This is going to be Call of Corgi. Because all they've talked about is the dogs. Oh man, dog AI. High Wait, they have dog resu- AI. High resolution yeah. dogs. Yep. And yeah. improved fish AI. Wait, there's man, fish AI. Fi- there's fish yeah. AI. What? You bet you are. There. Why would they yeah. bother to code something like that? <laughs> For Shepard, have you watched the presentation? Realistic get, get on the- fish interactions. Yes. Isn't For that wonderful? You- yeah. So <laughs> when you're uh, a Navy SEAL, you can, you know. Punch a dolphin in the face, apparently. Excuse me, dolphins aren't fish. Is that, is that realistic? They're mammals. They have a blowhole, because they need oxygen. If Tulu, you're a military man. Is that realistic? Is that what happens when you're in the military? Do you just punch dolphins all day long in the face? Nah, I know, but, you know, that's all I can think of when you think about Call of Duty and the purpose of a fish. Mm, probably, yeah. <laughs> the, the fish is probably going to be a terrorist, to be, to be fair. <laughs> We've got porpoises with dynamite, sir. Osama bin tuna. <laughs> no. mm-hmm. yeah, got a laugh out of it. No, first he's first he's shepherd just... laugh in about four years. Maybe he's going to be like a Russian extremist fish. You know, from yeah. the from the 
from the former Soviet countries. No, no salmon. That would be the level. Remember, no salmon. <laughs> no salmon. Yeah. He's gonna be like a tuna, and he's gonna be like, we've been prostituted to the vest. Well, well, you know, the tuna is really just the red herring. So. Oh wow! Well, it's going. Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Not good. Um, yes. So apparently, there's uh, there's an Xbox console. We haven't talked about it because we took uh, one week of break, which was, was like a pure bliss for me because I was able to play the game a little bit more. But in the meantime, um, without asking us, Microsoft has released a, or announced a console called the <laughs> Xbox One. They didn't ask our permission. What the hell, Microsoft? No, they haven't. How oh, dare they? No wonder it fails so horribly. Uh, first of all, I was shocked, guys. I don't know because. I don't know how to talk about the old Xbox anymore. You have the Xbox, what? you have the Xbox 360, and you have the Xbox One. You take one look at it and walk away. But sometimes you, you, you sometimes you kind of... Because you, sometimes you want to talk about the console and you want to be specific that it's the first one, you know, like you PlayStation 1. Never, it's not, never, it was never PlayStation 1, it was just PlayStation, right? Right. But you have to sometimes speci specify that you mean PlayStation, the first one. And but this how do you is do that now? Xbox, the first one. No, it's X the Xbox, the third one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But it's called Xbox, one. the third one, the one. I, I just, I just find it hard to take naming issues to heart after the Wii. <laughs> I like the Wii. I thought it was a good <laughs> thing. So what about the I'm, Wii I'm, I'm that U? Person. <laughs> that exactly. was a poor decision. Okay, I hate the Wii U, but I, <laughs> but I like the. I like the the Wii. I thought that was a good choice. I like that. Although, you, you, do you guys notice like the preliminary names for the consoles always used to end up to be really awesome? Yeah, yeah. Like Revolution, like, Cafe Press, or, Durango, uh, Durango. Like, man, if it, it was just Xbox Durango, I would be fine with that. Longhorn, that would be awesome. Yeah, Longhorn was see, see, name for my problem Vista? with with like Longhorn would be I'd want to eat it. It'd make me think of steak all yeah. the time. <laughs> That's it's, okay. It sounds it's. It sounds a little bit like uh, trying to compensate a little bit for something, but but yeah, I'm, I would be fine with Longhorn as well. I'm making this quest take longer because I keep flinching the fuzzy. Wow. Oh, nice. I like this. Uh, are, is he already capturable? Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Wow. Jesus, what are you guys doing? Over. Uh, oh man. Overachievers. Oh. Wow. Well, Overachievers. Wasting my trap. Yep. That's right. Maybe you should buy American next time. <laughs> what? But I made mine. I live in the U.S. Doesn't make you an American. There's well, a lot of people who live in America that aren't American. Did you pay the proper trade costs to make that? Yes. I went to the patent did office. I was approved. Did you guys hear about that? There's people huh? that trademarked... They didn't trademark. They filed a patent for podcasting in 1996. Yep. Wow. And they're going around uh, filing lawsuits against <laughs> people that make for-profit podcasts. Yeah, I hope they don't find us. Well, it's the uh, the wording on the copyright is so vague, like it just it's likely not to be able to stand up. But well, that that's with every copyright thing, yeah. I guess. They have to go like to Texas, where where there, there's apparently like a mecca for those kind of lawsuits, and they can they can exert some money using this. It's kind of like a m mafia kind of like situation. Like, oh, you have a nice podcast there. Would be a shame if somebody sued you. <laughs> yeah, shake you down for that. Give you money. Mm -hmm. They're asking for money, but they don't say how much money they want, so it's like an ultra scam. That'll it'll probably uh, hopefully it'll get shut down somehow. Well, yeah, because the know. copyright is ba it's like uh, an apparatus. It's, it's, a, it's a patent, right? Yeah, patent. yeah, it's like patent. That's like um, an apparatus for recording audio that is delivered in an episodic format. That's the patent. It would be like somebody. Well, although who knows? Like there <laughs> might be a patent on like digital displays and somebody out there is getting a ton of money every time somebody makes something with an LCD in it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Um, there could be. I was going to use that as an example, but then I thought, oh wait, that probably does exist. It's uh, the biggest issue that, uh, like, I was reading it, uh, an article on it. Uh, the biggest issue is that there's no real... Apparatus is too vague of a term, typically, because you can... What qualifies as an apparatus? Everything. Yeah. Um, so... It'll be interesting to see what happens. It, it has the potential to shake things up. I mean... Uh, 
I don't know. How can they go to every podcast ever? I also, most of the podcasts don't even earn money with it. I like if if they took like a percentage of our income. <laughs> enjoy. Uh, and, enjoy point point one cent of. <laughs> <laughs> you I might mean, be able to just... afford one of the new premium dollar seventy nine meals at uh, McDonald's. You can get mm, a, a, yeah. a bacon McChicken. Delicious. Yeah, you, it, it wouldn't even pay for the for like the postage if I, we send them something. Like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, but going back to the Xbox. Speaking of of, of pat- patents, there's there was like also this patent. Have you, you guys seen this? Which one? Something about a video camera watching you to see if you watch commercials. Yeah. Well, no, that was the the oh. um, play. That was something else. That was the PlayStation Three thing, uh, yeah, which is also kind the of like your Xbox the Connect one might do the is, same thing too, though. They the, say. No, the yeah. specific one for the Connect is that it will count the number of people watching. Like, so, so say like you are renting a movie from Xbox, and you rented it, and the license for the rental is viewable by up to four people. Well, the Connect will look at you and see how many people are actually watching it. And if you happen to have more than four people in the room, it's going to charge you more. No. Yep. Yes. That will never happen. That will not happen. Oh, yes. No. Shepard, you, you bet your ass is going to to happen. No. What, like, by the way, Todd here has to pony up an extra $2. <laughs> like, that's yeah, like, like, like you, have to, you, you have to buy like a public viewing license. It's going, not going to be like, it's going to be like maybe $2 more or something like this. But then, yeah. I'm going to hide in a pile of I mean, of you could just like take never a picture. So, yeah, we can just get a picture of Maxella sitting on the couch by himself naked and like, Make that a photo and then just hang it in front of the connect, <laughs> so it thinks that Marcel is just sitting there. Well, apparently, I don't know. But apparently, it's pretty robust now because it's like a three D camera, so it recognizes if something is flat or. Like, oh, you know. are you kidding me? Yeah. So yeah, you need to get a, a real doll of Noxella and set it up behind the TV. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. I, I'm going to want. I want that anyway. So <laughs> for me, it's like a convergence of technology well, happening right there. If we start selling that, we might have enough money to actually pay out lawsuits. So we got to be careful, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, but but for me, that patent was for me when everything came together because was like there were some rumors about what's going to happen. Everybody was like, "Oh, we have biometric things on our controllers." Like, why biometrics? Like, what can what can could you do? With biometrics, I was like never really uh, like. It could tell you was you're about to for poop me. yourself. Hello, has that not happened? Come on, I I can tell the game where I'm about to poop myself. It's like very easy. Mm. Um, no, but apparently that was the, that was uh, the plan all along. So the the idea is, of course, they're going to sell uh, this concept to us. Um, with a, with a with a very a different kind of idea, with by telling us, okay, you can you don't have to log in anymore. The camera just recognizes your face, and then you know you can just play your games wherever you are, even if you are at a friend's house. The friend's house um, um, connect will recognize your face and will download your save games over the internet to your friend's house. But wait, does that mean my brother is going to be taking all my save games? That, well, that would be interesting if they're if they if they're going to be able to distinguish. But uh, apparently, they're able to distinguish between twins. No. Whoa. No. Yes. yes. No. I seen this. On, I seen this technology. I don't know if if um, if Connect can do this, but I've seen uh, facial recognition technology well, being ready to be able to recognize between twins. Ninety percent of the population t- cannot tell the difference between my brother and I. Well, yes, but they I can, can recognize, you know, well, things that are more they subtle. They can now because he has a beard and he also drinks more beer than me. But outside of that, if <laughs> my, his wife cannot tell the difference between our two voices if she has her back to us. There are subtle things like in your facial ge- geometry which are different. Subtle things. Which the human body doesn't pick up. Anyway, never mind. What I want to say is just, um, it's interesting to see that that they're going to try to kind of put this technology. Because apparently with Xbox, it's like, I'm not really sure, even sure if it has like an on and off button. They kind of forced our, you, us to use this. You have to speak with the console. You have to use this facial recognition technology to do what what you've been able to do with, you know, pushing buttons until now. So ultimately, their goal, their goal is to tie the digital content you own, like games and movies, to your face. That's very to, worrisome. To create like the minority report kind of reality where, you know, on the one hand, it's kind of convenient because you walk into whatever device and the device recognizes who you are and gives you all the stuff you own, theoretically. But on the other hand, it's kind of cre- creating these creepy situations where, you know, you're basically put, uh, setting up. It's, it's 100% the system of Big, uh, Big Brother. 
of 1984, but kind of like in a voluntary way. It's not like enforced by government, but you kind of like the, the companies are trying to put it up. And mind you, like we, we talk, uh, do we talk about this as a Microsoft issue, but both Microsoft and Sony both release consoles with audience facing cameras. Yes. That are always on. Or supposedly uh, always on. We, we don't we we don't know any details <laughs> about the PlayStation Four, but it will. I'm pretty sure it will be bundled with a camera, so you can't buy the console without the camera. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be something, some little detail, that will probably just speculation so far will somehow force you to to have it attached at least all the time. And and we've seen from Sony also like some weird stuff. With the cameras, right? Like with a with a hamburger and with McDonald's. What? Like with the ad con? You haven't seen this? No. Please. I thought share. you were talking about. So there is this beautiful, um, this this very depressing. So so there is this depressing <laughs> a depressing um, what's it called uh, a patent from Sony, where there's a person sitting sitting on a couch in front of a TV and people are shooting each other on the on the TV screen like a, like a, like a cowboy movie. And then suddenly there's a, like an advertisement for McDonald's, and there is like a, like a hamburger on the screen, and it says, "Say McDonald's to skip this ad." And this person sh- sh- stands up and puts his hands in the air and shouts, "McDonald's!" And then the cowboy movie resumes. Oh, what? God. That's the worst. <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. I, that I is know. so bad. <laughs> I've seen like remixes of it so when people when the and on the fourth panel the person starts crying. You should start crying. <laughs> it sounds horrible, doesn't it? But I love McDonald's. <laughs> I only love McDonald's yeah. when they have my McRibs. Yeah. Which only comes around once a year because otherwise uh, Americans are too fat and we would eat all of the pig. There would be no pig left because of the McRib. What are you doing to this poor Peco? Um, whatever it is, Guys? it's illegal in 38 states. You're doing What's it. going on here? Rid. You are using overpowered weapons, I can tell. <laughs> I, to, to <laughs> well, what is it? He's already broken all over! He's oh. broken inside. Oh. Guys, I disconnected. Rip. I think I did. Rest in peace. Yeah. I see you just standing Pecco there. apparently did too. <laughs> no, he's still there. Well, he was was thinking about <laughs> about about patents of Microsoft and everything for what? Mm. Well, I don't need you guys. I don't need you guys to kill a Kuropeko. <laughs> Are you fighting alone with a Kuropeko now? Yeah, I'm fine with that. So yeah, that was kind of like the one one weird thing. Also, like there was a lot of TV stuff, which I thought was very weird for for the Xbox. I don't know. Yeah. Do, do you guys ever watch TV? TV is like weird. No. Like, I don't. I, I do nearly everything I do now. I watch streaming. The only difference yeah. is yeah. like, um, very rarely there'll be a show that'll come out that you have to watch live if you want to see it anytime soon. Like, Breaking Bad is kind of like that. Walking or Dead. Game of Thrones. It's kind of like that. I'll yeah. watch those, but other than that, like, who who watches TV? Who would do that? Why would you waste all yeah. that time watching commercials and? I don't know. And, and apparently, stuff. like, even if you if if Microsoft made like a cool service that puts all the TV uh, providers like into one like service or something like this, but they not. It's just like an HDMI port you put in there, so you could put like everything. Yep. You could put like a, put even like a I guess like a Blu-ray player in instead oh, of TV. Oh, Devil Joe is here. So, oh, this is great. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, for us as well. So interesting. We're doing like like the, kind of like this multiple universe kind of situation here. Parallel Kuropeka. Mm-hmm. Um, the Wii U is supposed to have some functionality like this, isn't it? Yeah. Have you guys ever tried this? Nope. Uh, no. I don't know how it works. It's I it's don't more care, of like an a, like an advanced TV guide setup, and it kind of integrates with like the Meverse kind of community. It's like, oh look, I'm going to watch this show, so you can kind of post things with people that are on the same thing but it doesn't really integrate. How do you plug it into your Wii? Uh, it's, it, what you do is when you set it up you pick your like cable provider and what area you're at and what package you have and it's not actually like hooked up to your TV at all. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, it's just downloading the TV that. guide information 
uh, essentially instead of actually interacting with like your TV. So box you just do anything. everything on your on your uh, Wii pad. You're not you're not seeing anything on the screen or anything like Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. So it's a way just for people to continue to use. Oh, hey, he put the Devil Joe to sleep. Nice. Well, that's very nice. helpful. Thank you, Kopeko. Your, your Kopeko is much cooler than ours. He's Ours much just, better. Or just keeps running. Um, I don't know. I'm not impressed. Oh, he woke up really quickly. Um, I, I think Microsoft is really jealous of Nintendo. I think so too. I think Microsoft really wants to be that console that ev players who are not gamers are going to buy. Yeah, that's. I was kind of like I had a, that discussion with a lot of people. Like, why didn't they show any games at their announcement and stuff? It's like, well, because with E three so close, it was better to make your announcement to market it towards an audience that you're not going to be able to get as quickly as established as you would otherwise. I mean, it's true. I mean, the gamers are going to find out what they want on it eventually, anyways, right? Yeah. At, you, to be honest, I would be fine with that, but they just don't have anything to show people to people who are not gamers. There's just no reason for somebody who's not a gamer to buy a console that plays only games. Well, like, do, but that's the thing do, with the Xbox do, do, One now, is that it's actually beyond just a game player because of the Blu-ray drive and a lot of the Netflix integration they've already done and other streaming integration that they've done with like Hulu and Amazon Plus and everything, so... I get, I get that, but there's, it's just nothing that like PlayStation Three couldn't do. Like the previous console yeah. could all, they, they, they haven't shown anything, anything new. Like even the stuff that uh, that um, Kinect does, that was basically the same stuff that old Kinect already was doing, right? Yeah, just more refined and more accurate. You can Skype and, while you watch TV. Oh yes, <laughs> great. I, like most people would just buy an iPad and Skype like this during while watching TV. Like why would you buy an uh, an expensive video game machine. Guys, where did my Kuropeko run to? Probably down to the water. He didn't. I'm bad. I didn't I didn't get him that yeah. hurt that quickly. Have you guys killed yours yet? No. Nope. No. He's kind He's of very almost resilient. there. There we go. Ah, there we go. Is he limping or is he dead? He's, He's dead. dead. No, he's dead. Well, I guess I might have to abandon because I can't even find my Kuropeko. Well, can't find Kuropeko! I don't know where he is. He was supposed to run away. Kuropeko, Hey, Christian, away, if bird. the cats drop a shiny for you, you should try to pick something up. Because they drop... Cat? Cat? Uh, yeah, if, they, if you get a paw print stamp, you can make a nice oh, that, support gun. I know, yeah. I'm, 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 I actually want two of them. I need two of them. I need eight more, I think. To finish mine, but I but I haven't seen a. I just had one shiny. This Alas. is the saddest thing ever. So um, yeah, by the way, I was wondering because they put like a dog in a motion capturing suit, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which was hilarious, I thought. Um, and apparently, it was like very difficult to do because the early prototypes of the prototype of the motion capturing suit for a dog were um, the dog was overheating. Yep. Uh, oh, he was getting too hot. Poor dog. Yeah. Because you have to have the you have to have the bright lights on. You're putting an extra layer over the dog's fur. Yeah. I wonder because for a dog, like a tongue is such an important thing. I wonder if they put like a tiny ball on his <laughs> on his tongue, or if that's something they do like manually. <laughs> And also, like, okay, so uh, they, they, they motion capture the dog. I wonder where where else can we, how far can we take this technology? Can we, like, because they were talking about fish eye, did they motion capture the fish? And a motion capture in Axel's butt. That would be amazing. Axela? What? Are you okay with that? What? Don't worry about it. Motion capturing your butt? It's already motion captured. It's already motion captured? <laughs> All yeah. right. Where do you think I got the idea from? How do you think we got the fish AI? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, wait, my, my my brain wasn't registering stuff. I don't think my brain wants to comprehend what it's thinking it's comprehending right now. It's my poop. It's uh, just turn off your the brain. The fish man. is my turn poop. Off your brain. I'm gonna go for broke with this one pitfall trap, and then I'm gonna abandon. This was like a hipster crow pecker. He was hiding out in a place where I didn't think he'd be. 
Hipster core pack. I'm gonna. Ah! Oh. I, I'm oh, just yeah. we should... I'm just gonna wonder how many more people are speculating that I've kidnapped Putty and have him locked in my basement after no. this. Well, yeah, we should maybe we should maybe clarify. <laughs> He's in my basement. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, see, um, what we've done and it's was, completely consensual. Was I've taken his torso and his head and I've shipped a limb off to everyone else. We we decided Whoa. to leave his wife a leg too, so you know. No. Oh. <laughs> All of this is a lie. Maybe. Um, so yeah, wrapping up the Xbox discussion. Would uh, I, from each one of us, would you uh, would you would you buy an Xbox just from what you saw? No. 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 Not not right now. No. Uh, I mean, neither neither console right now. Uh, neither one have anything intriguing. It's actually kind of really justifying this Wii U purchase. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting <laughs> thing. Like the day after the Xbox 360 announcement, uh, like Wii U sales went up by like 536 percent. Wow. Really? Yeah, but they but they were so down anyway, and, and the source was kind of like iffy. I know, I, I I don't know. They were they looked in at Amazon or something. Yeah. So that that wasn't like an official sales number. Or but still, yeah, I'm. Uh, that's what that's weird thing. Like after the presentations, like all of the like the other consoles start looking better, like. For example, when PlayStation 4 came out, I was like, uh, I don't know. But now, compared to the, the Xbox One, that sounds like a pretty sweet thing. <laughs> yeah, and, games. And the, and, and the Wii U is even better. Like, wow, it's already out and there are games and everything. And it's like cheap and like, <laughs> like no problem and no fuzz. It just plays games. Yay. Like, so like for me, the biggest thing I've taken away from both announcements, though, is both of them are moving more towards PC architecture anyways, which means we're going to get more ports to PC of every game anyways, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I already have a good PC. I don't need to buy another console. Well, but you, you have you seen, like, this? there's a very... Con what I thought was a very concerning development, which is very logical, but it kind of tells you where this is going. Like, most of the games that are announced as launch titles will launch on the new consoles and on the on old consoles at yeah. the same time. Like, um, Watch Dogs uh, is actually, yeah. like, the only... That and Delve Deeper were, like, the only two games from the PS4 that I wanted to see. But uh, Watch Dogs is going to be on the Wii U, so I don't have yeah. to buy a PS4. And then yeah. Delve Deeper oh, is really? a... Yeah. When, did, when was that announced? Uh, like, when they announced uh, Watch Dogs, that, like, right afterwards. They oh. said it was going to be on uh, the Wii U, the PS4... I would even say PS3 and 360 as well. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's a great new title that's going to be on, like, every platform. Seven, su eight systems. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's yeah. some like, little bit of a bear. And, like, the, the demo that they had for Watch Dog was actually running on a PC. <laughs> so weird. Also, like, uh, Gran Turismo 6 was announced, and that also is also for the old yeah. consoles, not for the new ones. Like, so weird. Well, it's because, uh, well, it's it's... like, they don't want to... All of them are starting to follow, like, the play original PlayStation concept between the transition between PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, in which they want to support both consoles for, you know, a couple years, instead of yeah. dropping the console completely, like, uh, some other companies... Are doing. There was some overlap going on uh, always, but but the thing is, like, I think there's something some more going on. Like, He's I sleeping. think none of the developers. Oops. Rip. Oh no! Oh. oh no! Sorry, it was an auto shot. I couldn't cancel it anymore. Um, not. I think none of the developers can afford to release for a console that has like zero, zero um, market. What will uh, happen? Share to the the Vita. Well, well, that's an interesting one, because they've said that a lot of the PS4 games are going to be... Uh, they're, they're encouraging the developers mm -hmm. to make them fully playable on the Vita. Mm. Like, you can carry the Vita around and play your PS4 game yeah. on it? Like, wherever you are? No, 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 no. It's going to be a Wii U kind yeah, of situation, like I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Why would you do job. that? It's, it's kind of neat do. sometimes to play something on a, on, a, on a... You know, something that you can take with you in your bed, or, or like, to poop. Ooh. So you're going to bring it... Into the bedroom. 
Yeah, like is every, this gonna every game on increase the sales of sexy games? Maybe. I'll just import Japanese games. There's plenty of sexy Japanese games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just need Hatsune Miku. That's the only game I need. Mm. She can feed me pizza anytime. <laughs> you, you, you tried it recently, Shepard? Hatsune Miku? I, I heard that you were playing this. Shepard? Sure. Shepard? Feels, feels good. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? yeah. Well, what's your favorite song? Ugh. The pizza song. <laughs> pizza, pizza. <laughs> Pizza, pizza, <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. Um, yes. Um, what else? Oh yeah, something I was very concerned about, and I'm 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 shocked that they pulled this off. That like none of the consoles are backwards compatible, and I, I don't really care really, like with the reason for why. But uh, but the problem is that all of the, of the all of the online games we bought they're gone, guys. Is it all yeah. of them? Because I thought it was some of them. But not all of them. No, all of them are gone. None of this is backwards compatible. So everything you bought on Xbox or PlayStation Network is gone. Yeah, like you no. won't be able to. You won't be able. You're not yes. going to be able to take any of those like uh, PS and Network games that you bought on your PS3 and play them on your PS4. Because there's no everything is gone. There's no because they're not going to do the software hardware compatibility they need to but to they, run they, them. There, there's no way the PS4 can't play at least the PSN games. I get it, right? I get it. Maybe they can't. There's do... no way. There, there's no way to distinguish which, what what a PSN game is and a real PlayStation 3 game, and the hardware is just not compatible. Yeah, it's because it's, it's, it, it's the change of the architecture. I mean, they're switching from these spe very specific customized architectures to basically PC platform, and it's the same reason why you can't just put a PC game into your 360 and make it run. <laughs> my friend can. Well, my friend, that's because my he's... friend's dad works at Microsoft, and he has a 360 that can do that. <laughs> but, well, that's because he's special <laughs> and has devs and hacks his stuff. My cousin can. He mm -hmm. can play PSP games on his 3DS. My dad is the guy who developed Contra. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> He's gonna kick your dad's butt. My dad is so. Strong. I, I, just, I just need to ask him. Yeah, ask him. Just don't let me tell him. We get mad. Um, that's that's really bad. That's really yeah. upset. I mean, I I love the PS3, and I'm gonna hold on to it for a long time, and now I'm gonna hold on to it for even longer. So that's something that I, I thought like um, Valve or even Apple were doing really good. Like f Apple has been updating their hardware really really often. But they always make sure that all of the content you already bought on, a, on an iPhone or something, that that will actually carry over to your new thing. So it's like never like you're never losing anything, right? Yeah. Well, you don't want to give somebody a disincentive not to upgrade, right? Yeah. Like this yeah, whole yeah. the whole thing and is like you're going to be upgrading your experience. And actually, this is a really interesting sales thing. I don't know how much you guys know about sales, but it's always much easier to sell something that's an improvement than a brand yeah. new product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people just dig the shit. Oh, sorry, oh, wait, that uh, they love improvements <laughs> so much. Yeah, like they'll well, take an improvement any day of the week. But you say, "Oh, this is brand new." Like, "Oh, whoa!" Like, I'm not an early adopter. Like, I don't want that. Like, you have to wait for it to go on like Good Morning America or something before you'll be able to get it. So yeah, well, I mean, the I the, the Apple's product line in particular is a great example of that. You know, the iPhone every year they have a new. Well, even sometimes faster than a year, they have the new edition of it that upgrades it or tweaks something yeah people it's still the iphone the, people, yeah same but people hear oh it's an improvement gotta get it yeah i've got i've got a friend who has every version of the iphone and i'm just wow. like why man wow. i mean you know you're just gonna buy another one in nine months he's like yeah i know but i'm still gonna buy it guy's got some disposable <laughs> income yeah wow yeah, I, I have a friend of mine who actually tried uh, developed like trauma with me, and he's like the biggest like app store of Apple geek, and he spent like a couple of thousand of dollars for for app, apps already. The thousands. Yeah, thousands. Oh yeah. He's that kind of person. Wow. And and you know he has like a couple of Apple devices, and every time he upgrades, he just keeps all of the stuff. You know he has access to his entire library on all of the com all of the devices he bought. And there and there's something more problematic with this because you know the digital games often cost the same as the games you buy in a store. And the, and now you when you, they introduce consoles, which which basically destroy your digital library. The the 
you know, the tenuous quality of those digital games is kind of exposed. Like, like they have completely, like, the reign over this content. This content doesn't own... You don't own this content. You're, like, that you leasing buy the content. Like, you're basically <laughs> yeah. paying to rent it, like, long-term rent. Yep. Yeah, and and they, both Sony and Microsoft has has have outed themselves as not being like very careful about your the stuff that you apparently own. So they basically destroyed your digital library, and they will probably do it again. So why would you ever buy digital games now? Not from them. I mean, why? I mean, it's really weird. Like that. That actually really messes with me. Like I kind of was planning on spending some money on some PSN games because, like, you know, those are. Those are great, like, you know, they're pretty cheap yeah. on sale with PSN Plus. But now it's like, oh, well, it could be five, ten years from now, all that money I spent is more or less gone, unless I want to go dig up PS3s. And they've been doing quite well. Like, I think for the PSP, that was a very cool move that, like, you could take some PSP games on the Vita. Yeah, no, the, uh, I mean, which... they're doing a good job of, of making sure you can play every PSP game on the Vita. Like, they're gradually really filling out that library. Yeah, but like, sadly too slow. No. Like recently, hate... recently I want to play Gran Turismo, and, and, and there was no. Gran I Turismo. still hate the fact that you have to rebuy the games. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's well. Yeah. I mean, and, I have a lot but, of but games now... that I'd play on the Vita if I had one, but I don't want to buy them again. Um, for example, recently I wanted to play. What would I wanted to play? Oh yeah, like Event Horizon. I wanted to just try it. And, um, no, Event Horizon? No, Ace... Ace, Ace Combat? Ace Combat, Ace, Ace Combat, right. There was, like, a, a PSP game's Ace Combat. And the, and the thing is, you can buy it, like, used, or, or like, you know, like, a uh, platinum version in the store for, um, like, six, nine bucks, right? Yeah, pretty cheap. But the, but the, the, the digital version still costs 30 bucks. Uh, yeah, I heard of that. That's a, that's a Which pretty is, major complaint about the Valve network, or the Valve model not necessarily being cross-business, or at least um, other businesses not realizing how the Valve model works. One or the other. Yeah. Yeah. In that, you yeah, know, it's, it's, I don't know, Valve realizes that as you lower the price of games, you sell so much more yeah. that yeah. the yeah. volume like the, more than makes up for it. It focused so much on those deals and 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 like slowly reducing the price for all the games. Mm -hmm. Not with all of games. For example, um, I also noticed that wow, we are killing those monsters, guys. Uh, I've noticed that um, a, um, Armored Core, the old Armored Core titles on PSP were just ten bucks each, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's no problem. Well, I mean, maybe they get it. Maybe those are the businesses that say, okay, I think we might have something here. Well, that, that kind of brings up the the aspect of, like, the the uh, Xbox One's used market idea and the fact yeah. that they're going to implement a network where people can unregister their games to be sold on for, as used market again, and that, uh, uh, but that it'll allow that to be tracked and actually make sure developers get money from used game sales as well. Um, you know, there's yeah, a, I thought that was kind of an interesting thing, like, you're going to have to pay for used yeah, I mean, it would, it's a, it's a, I mean, EA kind of did that with the online pass thing, sort of, for a while, but this is kind but of a different rid of idea. The online pass, I guess. Yeah, um, I don't know how it's going to work out. I mean, I can understand from a business aspect of every side profiting from it, except for like GameStop, because it's going to cut into their margins. But right. you know, to be honest, they've they've had unmitigated. I mean, just con absolutely, free reign. yeah, free reign for too long, and you know something had to be done eventually. I mean, mm -hmm. one I of mean, the reasons yeah, I really have no problem with the Valve model, yeah, you know, but I, I think what what you said, Christian, is the fact that you know they take such care to make sure you can keep playing the games forever. Yeah, you know, I mean, if it, it's it's one you can thing, take it. Yeah, you can you take upgrade it. your PC, and and they're still there. You know, it's. It's not like they're never going to go away. I, at least that's that's the idea or the 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 the, the contract that you're that you're engaging in when you start buying games on Valve. That you, that Valve is going to be always there to on Steam. Uh, that uh, Valve is going to always there to keep those games alive for yeah, you. Yeah, and even if a game gets removed from the Steam store itself, like if you bought it, you still get access to it. Like yeah, I, you still um, have it. Neverwinter Nights 2, you can no longer actually purchase it from Steam, but I can still download it. 
Mm-hmm. You know, and there's a there's a few others like that. Not you know uh, when I think who was it? Um, there was a zombie shooter game that was like that, or alien shooter game that had that issue. Yeah, um, it was. I can't remember. I want to say it was Activision or no, not Activision. EA pulled all of their titles away from the uh, yeah when the they store. released Origin. Right, but you can still download any EA titles you purchased beforehand because it was part of the contracts when people EA first posted stuff to there. So you know, it's... yeah, I still have Mass Effect from them. Yep. Ooh. So yeah, problematic thing. I don't know. We haven't heard any any details about this. Um, apparently, there is maybe some there is some hope that um, that maybe place the, that PSN is going to bring in some of the titles back with the streaming technology they use, the Gaikai. Yeah, that's that's they were talked a little bit about that being the possible way to do backwards compatibility after they purchase them, but you know it's hard to tell what's going to happen really. And of course, you know that they won't just give you those games. You will have to rebuy them. Probably. probably, it's going to be oh now restream or like rediscover the old PS3 titles that you already bought. You have to buy them again. Well, I mean, even with the Wii U, you can rebuy your old games, but you still have to pay something. Christian, you should let them get into the trap. By the way, all right. Uh, what the Wii U is, yeah, that's true. But on the other hand, I was pretty amazed that they had this transfer tool from the Wii to Wii U. So apparently, like, Nintendo turned out to be the only who does back- backwards, comp- backwards who compatibility. Who would have thought? <laughs> so ironic. Actually, they're, um, they're yeah. really good about backwards compatibility, though. The only time they really didn't do it was Nintendo to Super Nintendo. And well, that was and a major then, complaint and about then it. 64, or the Super Nintendo just, uh, N64. Oh, that, that too, true. Yeah, well, basically, like, they didn't yeah. really start supporting backwards compatibility until... Yay, uh, we did it! ...the Wii Thank you. and the DS. The handhelds? No, they've yeah, always the done it with the handhelds. Like, you yeah. could do Game Boy to Game Boy Color, Game Boy Color on GBA, uh, yeah. GBA with DS. Yeah. You yes, could even play GB, GBA on the GameCube. Yeah. Yep. yep. That was fun. <laughs> GB on the Super Nintendo? Oh, yes. Did, did, I was the coolest kid ever when I had my Super Game Boy. I, I'm actually looking at the Super Game Boy right now. Well, There's Pokemon Yellow sticking inside. <laughs> Are you going to stick something into it? Well, I... Your yeah. Po- well, no. Yes, my, yellow, my, my yellow mouse is going to be in there. Nice. My Diglett. My Diglett. Uh, anyway, so that's that's about new consoles. We're gonna see, of course, more in E3, and of course, all of these speculations right now. But it really doesn't look so well. Well, um, there is um, there was a, a Neo Jeff. I think somebody wrote an interesting thing where it's like, you know, if if the only way to finance uh, games is by basically disowning. Uh, gamers in this way and basically making stuff like used games which is basically your you know right as a consumer to just sell the stuff that you own uh, making them as some kind of um, crime or something then we need to really start considering that maybe the kind of uh, uh, you know industry that we built up is just not sustainable anymore yeah Uh, are we looking are we heading towards another crash you think another Atari Uh, crash of the 80s Uh, uh, it's possible. To some, extent we, to some extent, maybe we we're already there, and to some extent, we already have alternatives. Like indie games are doing very well; and they're providing a lot of the stuff that we actually enjoy about games. Yeah, to be honest, uh, most of the games that I'm sh- like, well, I'm excited about a few like big name titles. Like the biggest game right now, I'm super excited about are Starbound and Stonehearth, which are both indie games. Hmm. Mm, yeah, and I would much like I have more anticipation for those two games than any other game currently, which is kind of a weird statement. But at the same time, you know, it's a lot of it has to do with the fact that most AAA titles now are just copies of each other. Yeah. Like they might have one or two things different, but like they're always the same. Like call it like while people say there's a difference between Call of Duty and Halo, the real difference lies in semantics on <laughs> like. They're both shooters, they both have, you know, the assault rifles, they both have pistols, they both have grenade launchers, they have rocket launchers, 
It's just in minor mechanics differences that they're really you're different. You just messed up, Cthulhu. You just made the wrong oh, kind I, of enemy. I, I know. I'm going to make lots <laughs> of enemies for the statement. You're going to regret that. Um, it's, it's like it's like my girlfriend is telling me that there, that Vampire Diaries and Twilight are completely different things. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, there might be differences between them, but at their core, they are identical. Yeah, like, yeah, if you're, like, really into them, there might be, like, subtle details, but, you know, generally, it's basically the same, and it's very unhealthy if every, your entire game industry is creating copies of the same thing. Now, there's some discussion about it, but, I mean, I would say the absolute best console to own right now, interestingly enough, it's a 3DS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. far, I mean, I uh, could agree with that. A little sleeper, a little sleeper there. I mean, for a while, I was like, "Wow, why the hell did I buy such a thing?" But um, but now it's it's kind of getting up again. They, yeah. they recently announced they did a, like a Nintendo Direct recently, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So what did they what did they show in the Nintendo Direct? I I don't don't speak of Japanese, so I had no idea what they were talking about. Talk about Can you guys explain? Phoenix Wright Five and Monster Hunter Four. Land sharks. Land sharks. Land sharks. Land sharks. So what did they show? Uh, they they re-showed some of the old stuff that they previously talked about, but they also released a new trailer which showed uh, a number of new things. Um, and a lot of returning monsters, too. Yeah. A lot of returning the monsters. The roster is looking like it's going to be really big. I'm cool with that. What did they show? They showed, um, what was it, the, the new bug drone, whatever... The flying thing that's kind of like drill? Queen Vespoid in a sense. Ooh. Uh, they... a fl- oh, yeah, that was the one that, that the trailer started yep, out yep. with, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That was a really s- pr- pretty small monster, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but the la- part of the later trailer made it look like it was going to be a little bit more intriguing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Later on, they showed like a scorpion thing and it picked it up with its tail. Ooh. And then put it on its back, and then like it, they kind of become like the symbiotic monster, and they merge. They merge like, a, like a, they merge like a transformer. Yep, nope. like, like me, Cthulhu, and the Giganauts. Yep. that we're about to hunt. Mm. That's the sort of merger it was. I've got to bring hot wow. drinks. So did I. That's all right. Who needs hot well, drinks? Shameful. I have hot drinks, guys. You want a hot drink? Nah. I'm going to be hot. The, the tables have turned. I know. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm great sorting. Christian, I don't Christian's need that. the only one with hot drinks this time. That's amazing. I have them too. But nobody remembers Shepard. Well, Aww. I, I, I didn't remember see the hot drink Shepherd? status on the on your icon, so. I remember you, Shepard. You used to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> this guy used to be relevant about <laughs> two or three years ago. You know, you always have a special place in my heart, and you, I think you're pretty, pretty cool. You always have um, a special place in my bedroom. I think one well, of the most intriguing mm-hmm. things from the trailer, though, was a lot of the concept of evolving monsters this time around. Uh-huh. Uh, like, the land shark in particular, like, it starts out, like, they show a video of it starting out fairly small, and then it, like, growing in a matter of seconds... And then later on, they show it grabbing, like, a giant that'll swallow you and grow, like, a giant frog belly. And then later on, like, uh, gaining this ice armor and stuff. So it's... <laughs> Get wrecked, wow. Noxella. Wow. Sorry. Not uh, sorry. I'm going to upswing you. So monsters are more dynamic now. I don't know. I don't think the frog land shark thing, that... I think that's just, like, the monster's own unique mechanics. Not really anything evolving. Um, okay. Like the. Although there is a virus. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Um, That's what I thought Cthulhu was referring to. No. Yeah. In addition to the the shark being cool. Uh, well, I don't know if if there if there's monsters merging, then that's apparently I, I they're also like they're trying to make the environment more dynamic. They pretty much fo- I I would agree that there seems to be focusing on like more dynamic fights. Like, things changing underneath you as you go, you know? you got a changing environment. Yeah, yeah or even, yeah. like, the um, the the monkey fights that they've shown off, where, like, you'll fight, like, you're in a canopied area, and depending on whether you're on top or on bottom to change, like, how you're fighting the monster, or, you know, having to fight it while you're actually climbing and stuff like that. I mean, that's yeah really a dynamic change in environment shifts, depending on 
how you're going to fight just based on the location of the monster. Yeah, I, I was just referring to specifically the land shark. Oops. Ice thing. Yeah. I, like, oh, okay, it, it's, okay. hard, it's really hard to judge a lot of it because it is, like, just these little snippets. So it's hard yeah. to tell. <laughs> like, I, I, can, I can, like, like part of my... I'm making an assumption that for, like, the ice armor, since it's something that it, like, does at a specific time, apparently, because it doesn't start that way... It may be something that's related to the environment system or the weather system that they put in effect. I don't mm. know for sure because they really haven't showed it off, but it'd be it'd be an interesting mechanic if the weather changes while you're on the quest. Oops, and sorry, next setup. When this monster is present and you go into a blizzard, it gains this arse armor instead of being just its normal fight Oops. with this weather effect. Now it gets an extra ability as well. Yeah, I, I would just view that as a rage mode mechanic, but we don't know. So, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's really hard to tell. Like, only only reason I assumed that was because of the way that they did the scorpion monster and the bug. Because it, you know, when you're just looking at that, when I see that, I see I want to I want to automatically go to the fact that it's these are two separate monsters. But if they happen to ever be in the same area, then the chance that they become this new unique monster is there. Mm-hmm. But what that if that's actually true or not, or if it's actually you know just considered one monster? Yeah, it's I just mean, two separate parts. I mean, I don't think that's like a entirely new concept because they've had that in Frontier with uh, uh, Nono and Kami and the two new Lava Zia, uh yeah. rare species, where like the wolves individually have their own attacks, but they can also pair up together and have combo attacks of their own. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it's so, like, it's just teaser, and I want to make assumptions, yeah. because it's fun to make assumptions. It, it's fun to, it's <laughs> yeah. fun to figure out, think about Baseless speculation. <laughs> of course. I mean, we're, that's why we're discussing it. We're providing some commentary. Yeah, that's for the professionals. Yeah, and the trailer <laughs> also showed off a couple of new monsters that they revealed would be returning, including Kushladara and Teostra. Oh, yeah. Oh, and mm. Gravius. Yeah, Gravius and Vesarius. Oh, yeah, Gravius was there, yes. He looked very mossy. W- wasn't Brachidius also there? Vesarius. No, wasn't no Brachidius. Vesarius, yeah. yes. Yeah. A yeah. lot? I mean, Man. it seems like it might have as many monsters as Monster Hunter Freedom, if not even Monster Hunter Freedom 2. Yeah, because... Which would be pretty nice. I mean, typically when we get a reset, it's like, oh... Yeah, Not another reset. We're getting a large <laughs> number of both second and third gens this time around, which is kind of yeah. nice. I mean... There's been Devil Joe's been shown. We've seen ja- Great Jaggy. We've seen Lagambi now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think it'd be good to have a mix. I mean, you yeah. know, because I mean, a, a lot, lot of people of... enjoyed the old monsters and they lamented them not returning for like try or try you. Yeah, yeah, because it's not like it's a new universe or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just the concept of you know different areas of the same world. You know, different monsters in different areas, but you know, this one may be a more centralized location where you're having all the monsters now or something. It's our that's a, that's the fun for me. That is a lot of the fun with Monster Hunter in general is the fact that the lore is not fully fleshed out. It's up to the players. Oh no! To... There's actually a lot of information out there though that's yeah. been translated. Like, there's actually there are wars Thanks, between I appreciate countries this. and yep. kingdoms that go on. Yep. Like the monster hunting is actually not. I mean, of course, so much of the economy is based on it, but there's so much more going on as well. Yeah, like... I mean, can the... you imagine, like, legions of, of hunters lining up with, like, Kakuhu armor? Yeah. And, like, Blaganga bow guns ready to go to war? Or even, like, That's when amazing. you take, in, take into the concept of, like, the, the mounted uh, stuff now um, in um, 4, where you're making, you know, mounted attacks and riding the monsters, you know... Mm. What's to say that, you know, if we're capturing these things for arenas now, why can't we tame them? And now we have, you know, hunters riding into battle on the backs of armored baggies. Oh, no. <laughs> armored jaggies I'm okay with. Um, that would be an army against Shepard, definitely. I mean, that, 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 that wants to be my fanfic novel right there, is like the, the country <laughs> of the, 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 ton, the, uh, the, the water tribe people from the north riding across the countryside on great baggies. They made Taking a movie down the of Fire Kingdom. No country for old shepherds. I can imagine. Like there, there's like a shepherd is the king of the, of the of the land of Monster Huntia, and there's like Bizarro shepherd who wants to take over, and he goes like like in in Game it's of Thrones. Milkman. He if it has, 
he has to get the three baggies. <laughs> and then he rides in the three baggies into the <laughs> country of Monster Huntia to the defeat Shepherd. Uh, oh, beautiful. I'm not pleased. Baggy Sliparis. That would be awesome. Um, uh, to be honest, the, the thing that I found like really, um, I don't know, I, I thought like emotionally like very uh, worked for me very well was the beach. Uh, oh the yeah, beach, they showed um, up some new village. environments. Yeah. Yeah. I thought the v- beach village looked really cozy and really chill Oh, and yes. you know... Yeah. Can't wait. I can't wait to like launch my cats while I throw rockets at my monsters. <laughs> Oh, what? You can do that? Yeah, yep. they showed like, the missile thing. And then there's also the tank nice. that they yeah. previously shown. There's like The, the, the cats tank. will jump on the rocket and it'll launch up and go all zigzaggy and like smack a monster in the face and they'll start grabbing its face and beating its face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah! Okay. <laughs> Cat shenanigans. That's why we're here as well, I must admit. Yeah. I mean, speaking of how it looks, though, it does appear as if they have... Uh, somehow uh, gotten past whatever um, bizarre graphical issues they had from the beginning. Things are starting to look a little bit better. It seems like there's like maybe some slight cell shading even. Yeah. It does. Something it looks like so much that? improved. A little bit. I, and like I'm wondering <laughs> if it wasn't just the fact that they... It looked like originally they had tried to completely redo the engine over, over uh, the ultimate version and or G over there and decided to maybe fall back a little bit and just refine that engine because it looks more like what we have now than the completely yeah, different that it was for the first reveal yeah. trailers I think they did some some uh, some improvements I think that was also one of the reasons for the, the delay apparently mm-hmm. but but it still looks like a 3ds game and some of the track textures looked really bad even in a trailer and you know in the trailer you were usually able to hide some of the stuff so uh i don't know a lot of people are already complaining with this version that it looks kind of dated so having this as the next game i'm kind of like worried about the uh, trial ultimate looks dated yeah well it's yeah. an upscaled game it's not it yeah. wasn't a game designed to look like this yeah but but you know if the next game is going to still like the a similar quality, then it's kind of like the, the game kind of stagnates a little bit. I thought I, I would. I, I'm wondering why they haven't announced anything for the Wii U. Uh, it's because they'll probably they're probably going to go the same route they did originally. They'll do the uh, they'll launch the DS version, and then six months or I guess it's nine months later they'll announce the HD version along with the Western release. So that's I wonder. I wonder if they announce a three three D version. Like, are they considering this from the get go? Are they considering you know creating the assets in a higher quality so that when they eventually do the HD version, that that they were able to use like higher resolution models or it higher resolution Capcom. textures? Yeah. And well, and, and that's the thing. Capcom is recently changing a lot of their business strategy too. Like they've recently said they want to do going forward they're going to design their games to make it easier to localize for other regions um because they know that they have a lot of fans that want to play these other games in other regions but they you know typically they don't think about localization until after the fact and then it becomes really difficult sometimes so it'll be interesting to see i mean it's so many weird things Yes, indeed. Wow, another another trap well wasted. <laughs> We're doing well in this quest and in this uh, episode. So, should we do like one last episode? Uh, one last episode. No, one I, last, think, uh, I think this is good. We're already at about an hour of recording. You think so? Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't. We don't need to make it too bearsome. All right, all right. Um, yes. So uh, it looks like there is some more stuff coming in down the pipe. So when when the, does the Monster Hunter Four release? The, the, I think they announced the release date, yeah, right? Uh, August, right? September, September 14th. fourteenth. August. Mm-hmm. September. Jeez, they uh, kept going out. I mean, that's not really summer anymore. Nope, Earth. And then, of course, that's just for Japan, and there hasn't been any announcement for for the West yet. So yeah, let's hope uh, they uh, got the message from from the success, apparent success of Monster Hunter Three, U in the West, and they, that they will um, you know release this in the West as well. That would be pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna get a digital release, right? Yes, I hope so. 
Oh, it oh, it is all digital. It's not physical. They're gonna have no, the, oh, it has, the, yeah, they're gonna have the physical too. as well. Uh, the okay. the actual custom uh, DSs that they're doing to have the digital copy. Yeah. Oh man, they look so good, don't they? I want the black one so bad. I'm the black one looks, looks really good. I'm willing. I chose poorly. I got my <laughs> DS too early. I I am willing yeah. to come perform any favors anyone needs for money. <laughs> any All right, favors you heard here. F- <laughs> you heard here first. Uh oh gosh, I don't even know how to follow this up. <laughs> All right, so um, this was it for today. Um, the the website you should visit, uh, all about our podcast, is timorcast.com. Bing! The website uh, where you can uh, watch videos, not only this podcast, but also other podcasts about Monster Hunter. And also you can answer and ask questions, and there's lots of stuff going on there. Uh, you should definitely go there, timorcast.com. And also, uh, this week, our, we have a couple of videos out, finally. Uh, we have... Um, Patty has actually sat, sat down and edited uh, some of our uh, super long epic quest through Lost Planet 2. That must have been difficult. Shepard, he edited the part where we we two were playing. Remember that part, Shepard? That was a bad part. That, I thought that was a pretty good part. Oh, wait, no, that was a good part. We played later, that was a bad part. We played, yeah. Well, well, it was good in all the bad ways, you know. I, I remember there was one time we died at least eight, six, or seven, eight times. Maybe, maybe there's a part upcoming where there's going to be a lot of deaths. This time it was a part where we we're shooting at helicopters and we're exploding in a big fashion, and then a huge bug came over and we sh- started shooting at his glowing legs. It was amazing, and we were on a ship in the desert, and we had rocket launchers, and it was, uh, yeah, that was the what thing that happened. Also, another video that you should definitely check out is the series that, that I'm uh, doing right now, which is how we record the podcast. I think the last episode I published was about how to record a Skype conversation or a, a generally like a telephone call, how to do this. It's surprisingly complicated and surprisingly difficult. And uh, and yeah, so we had a little bit problems with that and some experience with that, and that's what we put up in the uh, in this recent episode. I think the next episode is going to be a little bit about conceptual things, how to you know con- conceptualize your podcast, or what ca- what kind of things to maybe uh, consider when coming up with an idea for a podcast. So that's going to be the next one. Anything else? Uh, people can check into the Twitch Teamwork Cast channel. Oh, yes. Uh, what what are you streaming the uh, next next week? Uh, so next week, uh, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday and Thursday are Monster Hunter days, and Thursday in yes. particular is Hunts with the Viewers. Uh, typically it's mm. me and Iceman Noob. Uh, however, mm. you know, whenever we can get some of the other Teamwork Cast guys free, we'll get them in. But you know, it's a we do it typically during the day, uh, about eleven a.m. Eastern time is when we start. Uh, Wednesday will be Dark Souls Day. Ooh. Make sure to check in. We enjoy the company. Yes, definitely. 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 Uh, so there is streaming going on all the time as well. So, so we, Oh, yeah. And also, we put some animated GIFs on Reddit the last time. Maybe there's going to be animated GIFs of this episode in the comments of this YouTube. Just check it out. Maybe there's going to be something. Animated GIFs are the best. Those Everything were very so popular. You got a lot of karma from that, dude. I, I know, right? I'm, I'm like farming karma with those. <laughs> oh, yeah. And by the way, uh, there is a Capcom game coming up next week. Correct. Are you guys excited? Remember me? Oh, remember me? yeah. Remember me? I'm interested. Like, But some of the reviews I've seen say it's um, maybe not so great. But I'll check it out because the concept rev- is pretty good. Re- oh, there are other reviews out out there already. Yeah, there's some people who got like a re- early preview copies and stuff, and huh. talking about it. But uh, I'm, I'm going I'm I'm to save judgment till after I played it yes. because yes, I if nothing else, the story seems really interesting, and I want to play through it. So also female characters, also the yes. aesthetics, yes, and it's it's in in, in neo Paris, right? It's Paris, right? I think yep. so. Is it is it Paris? Yes. And you're hacking into the mind of people and stealing memories. Like in real life. It's Inception, the game. <laughs> it is. So uh, that's it for to, for this week. And we're going to be next next week, as every time, with a beautiful new episode. Until then, we wish you good luck, good hunt. And remember, if there is sound coming out of your printer, maybe it's because the paper is jamming.
Maybe you cat. should keep your cat away from your printer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe the cat saw something coming into the printer and maybe you just printed something on your cat. I, I know you saw the picture. That cat oh, hated stamp. that paper. He hated it so much. Maybe that's paw print stamps were created. 